Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn that how to create a loft bank in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. So let's start from here. We, I already have opened the sheet metal module. Here we can see that the loft bank command is, isn't activated. So activate uh, the loft bank command. First of all we need to create a sketch. For creating a sketch and choosing a plane. Click on sketch and go to draw any sketch on front plane so here I am selecting center rectangle and going to draw a rectangle and defining its dimension here so here I am entering the dimension dimension on the both edges of the rectangle in lock band in sheet metal we need to create a profile which having broken edges it isn't able to create a lock band in a closed sketch. So for this, I'm here going to break the rectangle. So for this, I'm going to draw any circle or line. To break this sketch. So here I am draw a circle having diameter of 4 mm and going to trim that sketch. So now our rectangle having open contour and the edges of the rectangle is sharp so in sheet metal we need smooth edges so for this I am going to here apply this sketch fillet and select the edges to apply the fillet then I am selecting all the four edges and click on ok and now have the form this sketch so first profile is created here so creating the second file we need to create a plane so for creating the plane select feature and click on reference geometry and select plane so here in plane it's asking for the first reference so i'm selecting as for the reference front plane and automatically it shows the next plane by selecting the first reference plane so we can create any plane at some distance here and entered value is 70 mm and now x from the plane command see the plane in normal position and again select sketch and draw any sketch on the first plane so here I am going to run a circle and defining its diameter So here I am entering the diameter of 50 Now I am going to break that sketch so For this I am going to draw a circle or line Define diameter of the circle This is 4 mm And select trim and select power trim in this sketch the broken edges and click ok now and from this sketch so both these files are now ready now click on sheet metal here we can see that the lock pen feature is activated now so click on lock pen Here we have two marketing methods. The first one is bank and form. After that, the files are given. Stitching options. Sheet metal parameter is radius and thickness and k factor. Let's start from selecting this profile here. Choose first profile and second profile. After choosing first profile and second profile, I am going to define thickness of this metal. So I am going to take 2 mm. The next option here is given the radius. As I am going to increase the radius, here you can see that on the edges the radius is going to be increased. You can reverse the thickness of the sheet metal here. 
you can see the changes in the food matter now scrolling up the scroll bar and here we have the theme option the first one is called tolerance number of bands segment length and segment angle so you can change the values from here or you can see that when I click on segment length the sheet metal is going to be banned having number of segments next option is segment angle you can also set the segment angle in the loft band command by selecting number of bands you can also increase or decrease number of bands in the sheet metal Next option is for tolerance. You can increase or decrease for tolerance. And the next one that we have had is formal method. So then, as clicking on form method, you can see here a smooth sheet metal is selected. can here also increase or decrease its thickness and I can see here it's increase and we move R1 quickly on this we are showing the reverse direction and I'm keeping on it you can see that change is occurring here click on OK here you can see that new profile is created so Lock band in sheet metal. We can also create a cone in sheet metal with the help of lock band command. So for this, I'm going to create another profile here. Click on part, and here I'm going to draw a sketch to create a cone in sheet metal. So here you need to simply draw any circle and exit break. The circle and sheet metal lock band. We need to create a sketch which having uh, broken edges. This sketch which having closed profile, we can't able to lock back in sheet metal. Now, exit from the personal sketch, and again, we are going to create a new plane. Okay. Let's play in the position. Okay, again, so uh, draw a circle. Again, we going to break this sketch. Let's play and remix. Now add this from the sketch. Now again click on sheet metal and select box band. Select the first profile and second file. Now click on OK. And hide the plane by Click on the plane and click hide. You can see that a cone is also created with the help of lock band in sheet metal. Whenever you are going to lock band in sheet metal, keep in your mind that the sketch which are you going to create having broken edges. This is all about the lock band part in sheet metal. Thanks for watching the video.